Hi guys, Renee Bradley here, the founder of Oily Nature, and I'm here to share my business story with you and kind of share some things why I think you should join network marketing. It is unbelievably free freedom of your life and not suffering working that nine to five job for someone else. And a lot of us are so scared to do it. I've been doing this business, um, Young Living, for, uh, let's see, five years now. And I love it because I can choose my schedule. When personal things happen, I don't have to worry about getting fired. It's amazing. Absolutely amazing. So I just want to share that with you guys today. Starting off here, the first question people ask, is it really possible to build a business of your own with Young Living? I'm here to tell you, yes. There are so many people who have already done it. Most of us start off with excuses like these. And, and you guys might see that some of these are familiar too, but I don't really know anyone who's heard that one before. I'm an introvert and I get nervous talking to most people. I don't want to sell anything. I don't want to be salesy or pushy upon my friends and family. I need to learn more about the products before I get started. My house is too small or not good enough. I don't have the time. I work another job and I can't do it. What if people say no? That's a good one. What if people do say no to you? We've all made that excuse. I don't, um, why would anyone listen to me? Who's had that confidence issue? Why would anyone listen to me? I'm not good enough. I'm not good like the next person. That's another excuse we use. I don't even know where to start. Well, we're gonna break some of this down for you today because we all are human and we all make these excuses at some point not to start it. We let our fear hold us back and we are not educated sometimes on what really network marketing is and how you can turn this into your own and have that time freedom um, your your financial freedom and your wellness freedom with Young Living. And I'm going to break this down for you guys today. One thing that all YL business owners have in common is that they all want more for themselves and their families and have decided to go for it. They just did it. Helping others find their wellness and achieve their dreams along the way became a passion of theirs. That eliminated the excuses alone. As we go through this, you'll see why. It isn't about who you know, by the way. So if you say, I don't have enough friends, it's not about who you know. It's about the people your friends know. We all know people. In fact, research actually shows that the average person knows about 600 people. Of course, guys, we recommend you sign up as many as you can, but you don't need to sign up hundreds of people to succeed in Young Living Business. Over the span of two years, um, guys, Someone signed up around 45 people and helped show them how to share the product. And this person made over $11,000 in one month. Did you hear that? In one month, $11,000. Can your nine to five job pay you $11,000 in one month? I don't think so. So imagine where this person is now, a few years later. Imagine where her financial status is right now. So by sharing a little, we all grow a lot. Here's a fun fact. Young Living pays out at least 50% of 
PV commissionable sells to YL business owners. And YL stands for Young Living for those who don't know that lingo. <laughs> So you don't need to be an extrovert or a good public speaker to do this business. That's not an excuse. You don't need to do that. You, anyone can do this business. I know plenty of people who are um, introverts that can do this business easily and they are at high ranking statuses. So don't believe that lie that you can't do it if you're like, get anxiety being around people. You can do it. There are a lot of ways to share Young Living. So do you feel comfortable talking to your friends? I mean, we don't have a problem with that, right? When we're with our friends, we're comfortable. How about asking them how they are doing and helping them in times of need? Do you help your friends with those kinds of things? It's no different, guys. You will be great at this if you're able to do that. Did you know that? You will be so awesome at this business if you are able to do that. Just by having that intentional care for your friends, you will be able to start this. You don't need to know how to sell anything. So many times people say that. You don't need to know how to sell anything. Building a young living business is all about building relationships. You remember, we're in this intentionally to help others with their wellness journey or help them to build a business as well. So we need to build those relationships and be intentionally caring for their needs. As you spend time getting to know people and hearing their needs, you can share these amazing Young Living products with them. Trust me, guys, if you are really listening to them and caring for them, you will feel at ease and so will they. If you feel like you're trying to sell them a product, you're never gonna feel at ease. You gotta truly be there for them and believe in your mind you're there to be a wellness coach for them and to help them be inspired to take their own wellness um, in their own control and let them uh, become educated on this. Two things to, uh, to think about here. First of all, aren't you grateful to the person who introduced you to Young Living? What if they never shared with you? You would have never known. And every one of us that is a wild business owner, we know firsthand that we were obviously needing these products to why we joined in on this. We obviously needed these products. And I highly doubt you resent them for sharing this with you. So sharing is a win-win. Okay, you are doing your friends a disservice if you do not share with them. You're not helping them. You're, you're making them miss out on things. Gary Young had said his mission was to get these oils in every single home he possibly could. And this is why we carry on that legacy for Gary Young. Uh, because we care. We know what these products can do. And we don't want to be a disservice to someone by not sharing. So that's why when I'm out and about, I share these products in grocery stores. I give out my card and a sample so they can try it. I'm a big believer in sharing with people the oils and the products firsthand so they can actually see that they're getting something that's worth their time and their money. Um, so experiencing, uh, these are some things that you should experience by sharing with them. You're going to experience the joy by sharing with them. You're going to feel good at the end of the day by helping someone else that might have a need that, um, otherwise they didn't know where to turn to for that need in their wellness journey. Um, it's their job as an adult to decide if they are in it or out of it. You sharing, you got to have that mindset. I'm going to share this with them. I'm not going to be salesy with them. And it's their decision at the end of the day if they want to go in or go out. Be open to either decision from them. That way you won't make them or yourself feel bad if they say no thanks. Okay? You don't know how many no's I've gotten in this business. So many no's. I've had even nasty no's. I've had no's that, you know, where I... I didn't be pushy with them. I give them their space, come and contact them with the, again, and maybe something's going on in their life. And I was like, well, here, just try this. It might work. 
and you're planting that seed with them to help them on this journey. Not everyone is going to be receptive to the products or to what you have to offer them at that time. They might not be ready. So don't be, a, they take offense to them saying no to you. Um, so some of them, uh, second of all, they are your friends and they know your intentions are good when you're sharing with your friends. So trust them to trust you. They have confidence that they trust you in what you're saying. If you're approaching them as a caring friend, guys, they will feel it. Trust yourself to care and share without pushing or selling them, okay? Don't make them feel like you're pushing a sell upon them. Keep sharing the products in conversation, asking them their needs, saying this might help, just try this. And it might take some time, like I said, but don't give up on it. Just remember you're planting a seed in someone and today's no might be yes down the line without being salesy. Here's the other thing. A lot of people say, I don't know much about these products or you know what to do with them. So you don't need to know the ins and outs of these products before you start sharing, guys. In fact, what people really want to know is how you like the products. When you start using the products, how did it help you, your testimonials? They won't necessarily understand or really care about scientific knowledge. I know I was like that. I don't care if it helps me. Who cares about the details? It helped, right? Not everyone's the same. Then you'll find those that do. So in order to be successful in this business, you need to show everyone about sharing, duplicating that sharing. If you know everything and answer all the technical questions to those that you sign up, you're going to come across as an expert to them. They're going to be intimidated by this, guys. They are not going to feel like they can meet up to this. Know that they will think that they need to be an expert and they don't need to be in this business. They don't need to be an expert in this business at all. So please adopt three phrases here that I'm gonna share with you that I learned. Um, number one, I'm not sure, this is what you can tell them, I'm not sure, let's look at the reference book together. You know what the rest reference book is. If you're not a Young Living uh, business builder, you probably don't, or if you're not a YL customer, but we have these desk references that kind of tells you what the oils can do and help with to support you. So we can sit down and have them to sit down and look at that with us. The other thing is, um, number two, I'm not sure, but this worked for me. So you can share your testimonial, like we were saying before, how it worked for you. Number three, I'm not sure you should ask in one of the Facebook groups. We add everyone to the Facebook group so they can have the opportunity. It's like a young living community and they can have the opportunity to hear from other young living business builders who actually are, even if they're just customers, they actually have used something and it's worked for them. I'll give you an example. I made up a do it yourself spray with using essential oils. I won't like clarify what was in the spray, but it helps support keeping the bugs away and um, help support the itching feeling that I had on my feet. So it was a true testimonial and I had people around me um, who saw that that stuff actually worked. Your testimonials are stronger than you think. You don't have to be an expert to know, oh my goodness, I found out those two oils that I used by accident worked for that. I didn't know, I didn't read it anywhere. I didn't have any scientific notes to, to our reports to go by to say, oh, that'll work. I didn't know, but it supported those issues. So keep that in mind. This will show others that you don't need to know everything to start sharing this business, okay? And let me keep, like remind you, we share everyday other products. No big deal, no pressure, no, no nothing, right? Like our cell phones. Oh my God, you gotta get an Apple. Or oh my gosh, you gotta get a, an Android phone. We share that all the time with friends or a shampoo or a makeup we use. Why not share this like that? Why did this, the pressure have to be on you? It does not have to be on you. So look at it that way in your mindset when you're thinking about it. It's not a sell. It's you sharing something with someone else that actually worked for you. 
All right, another thing we all tend to do, we compare ourselves to other people. My house isn't big enough. It's not fancy enough to have people over. Well, your house is not too small or outdated to have a few friends over, right? You would have a few, a few of your closest friends over anyways. Having a spotless house is not a reality for most of us. We have kids. We have real life situations happening for us. So of course your house isn't always gonna be spotless. We tend to care about what other people think. So we tend to make that excuse for ourselves. Um, so um, you don't need all that going on. If you are opposed to having people come to your house, there are lots of other options too. So that's not an excuse. So meet them at a local coffee shop. You know, I did that. I would go down to the local coffee shop, sit with a few people, talk about the products. Some of them were current members. Some of them were new people coming in, hearing from all the members about the products. There's all kinds of options in the community. So you can ask to go to their house as well. If, if you're concerned about your own home, I do that too. I do home parties. I, I choose other locations. Um, that will allow the community classes. So where there's a will, there's a way. There's not an excuse why you can't do it. You can do this easily. And you just got to believe in yourself and stop making these excuses. Let me tell you another thing. You don't need eight hours a day to do this business to be successful. We have young living business builders that do this in, you know, like, an hour a week they'll spend on this or three hours a week and they'll do this and do classes. Classes don't take but an hour to do. You have all the free training in front of you. So there's no excuse for that too. So when you're with people, be intentional guys about connecting with them. This biz is about relationships. Once again, when you're spending time with people, ask a few more questions to really find out what's going on in their life. There's sometimes we don't even realize what's going on in people's lives. You know, I met someone recently, you know, I was kind of, you know, like, why, why is she like that or whatever? And then I found out something really personal and I realized I'm like, oh my gosh, this is so true. That saying you don't know what someone else is going through when, you know, they're being a certain way. So really dig deep with people and build those relationships and find out what's really going on. So you can get a lot of tips from this. There's a lot of training that goes into this. If you only have 30 minutes a day, we have a lot of ideas on how to make these 30 minutes really count. Like some of us have small babies. There's so many like free educational um ideas we can give you on that okay you don't need to have a special degree in this either that's the other really cool thing about this um to for people to find value in what you are saying you just need to believe in the product and believe in yourself when you're talking to people and make them feel like you're a real person just like they are people will listen to you because you're awesome and you care about them you have life experiences and you own your product experiences with these products that you're using. That's like the key thing is like, you know what these products have done for you. And by you sharing with them on that, you will see that they will respect that. What you have to say is relevant and helpful to them. Have confidence in yourself, guys. I can't stress that enough. I keep saying that. Have confidence in yourself. There are some of you guys out there that goes, I don't know if that could ever be possible to me. Yes, it can. I can tell you a story. When I first started teaching these classes, I stood up in front of people, nervous as heck, so nervous. I couldn't even, I couldn't even, guys, um, feel like I was breathing when I was teaching this class. It was almost like, whoa, what just happened? So it's okay to feel that way. The more practice makes perfect when you're teaching the classes and you start to feel more comfortable doing it. Step outside of your comfort zone and you will see a difference in yourself. You will see yourself grow. You will see yourself feel better and confident about yourself. And you'll get a lot of positive feedback. A lot of times when I was nervous and feeling like I wasn't adequate enough to even teach these classes, the feedback I got from people was amazing. I was like, really? You really think I was that good? Really? You really thought that was helpful? Like you don't even understand. You are more critical of yourself than others are critical of you. So I want you to remember that. Um, so 
you are enough just the way you are. Remember that, okay? So let's address the whole, what if people say no and the fear of that? What if people say no? I know sometimes it's embarrassing. You'll be at the store and you'll be talking to somebody and they turn their nose up and they're like, no, get away from me. I, I got my, you know, I had one lady tell me one time, she goes, I'm going to stick with my bleach. I got bleach. I don't need that stuff. That's just like a scam or whatever. And didn't even take the time to educate her. The one thing I would do in that situation of like if someone offered me something, I would say, okay, I'll look into it and I'll educate myself. But we're not all the same, okay? So remember that. Don't let some somebody's reaction get to you. You control how you react, not how they react. So here's what we're gonna we're gonna say to that. And then what? And then what? And then what when they say no? The point is, is if someone says no, guys, that means they just aren't ready and life goes on, okay? Move on from that. It's going to be okay. It doesn't mean anything about you and it doesn't make or break your business. I will tell you guys, there are so many people in my business that even that jumped aboard and dropped off. Who cares? Who cares? You're going to find those people that truly care. If they want it, they're going to go for it. If they don't, they're not going to go for it. And you can't stress yourself out about it. You got to keep going on. What people don't like is a salesperson um, who won't take no for an answer, continuing to try to prod and convince you and make you feel bad for saying no. It's like those people in the stores when you're in the store and they're either outside of the store or they're right there, guys. <laughs> they're right there following you through the store trying to talk to you. How many of you guys have had that happen? We've had that happen. It makes you feel so uncomfortable. You're like, get away from me. And that's not what we're about. We don't want people to feel that way. We want people to know that we truly care about them. Not everyone will say yes but you will be there for those that do say yes. And you will be there if and when the no's change their minds. Like I said before, I had a lot of no's before yeses. Those people I worked on for months without being salesy with them and giving them their space, planted that seed with them. And they finally came back to say yes and jumped aboard because something happened in their lives. With our business, Young Living, I can tell you this for a fact, a lot of times for people who turn this into a business is accidental because something's happened in their life that they really needed something and they were offered something from someone of the product and it, excuse me, and it really worked for them. It really worked and they were ecstatic ecstatic and jumped aboard on this and began to share. Once it clicks with them and resonates with them, you will see a difference. So be patient, be patient guys. You don't need to know everything about this business or even where to start guys. You really don't. So network marketing is amazing. I'm telling you that this is, this is the business of the future. Network marketing guys is a multi-billion dollar business model. That's insane. And this gives families the ability to their own, their own families to have more time freedom with their families and to own their business with little startup cost as well. Think about this with startup costs. Most people, if they're going into small business that's not network marketing, they end up spending thousands of dollars on a place to rent, thousands of dollars for marketing, and you don't need that with the network marketing at all. So this is a method, the multi-network marketing is a method in which independent agents serves as distributors of goods and services. In our case, it's Young Living Products. They recruit their own team and other independent distributors under them. And in this method, commission is earned on the distributor's own sales revenues, as well as on the sales revenues of the team below them called the downline members. So you start out as your own boss, guys, and you're able to recruit teams under you by working for another company as your own boss. You get to choose your income. There is no question, guys, that network marketing is the wave of the future right now and that the, the business model is genius to network marketing. However, there are a few key questions to ask yourself. 
when you're deciding what company to go with. So here are the key questions you need to think about with yourself. How long have they been around? I'll answer the question for Young Living. 20 plus years, I think it's been about 26 years, they've been around, it's an awesome company. Do I like this product enough to share it with others? In my case, I love these products wholeheartedly and I wouldn't have it any other way, okay? And does it work? Does the products actually work? How big is the group of people that can use these products? Is it a consumable product that will help consumers keep ordering? Is the compensation plan genius? So these are some questions, key questions you want to ask yourself before starting up your own network marketing business. So let me explain why these are important and answer a few of these questions for you um, from my own personal experience. According to various resources, it is important to work with a company that has been around longer than five to seven years. They are a bit more established. Young Living has been around for over 25 years. They are leading in the industry of essential oils and toxic free living, and they are projected to hit 1.5 billion in sales by the end of 2017 and 2 billion in 2018. And here we are in 2019. Most network marketing companies are multi-million dollar companies, not multi-billion like Young Living is. They are well-established, guys. YL is growing like crazy, adding new markets around the world, which indicates it is a great time to get started. They own their own farms, guys. They have their own scientists. They have their own lawyer. They have it all, making sure everything is the way it's supposed to be, the seed to sill process, amazing. Third party testing coming in, making sure that everything is in line for you guys out there. Number two um, and three, choosing a company with a product you use, like, and trust will make sharing incredibly easy. When it is actually does what it is supposed to do, that makes it easier for you to talk to other people and to share that with other people and for them to trust you. When you go to a new restaurant and have a great dish, don't you go tell your best friend to go try it? We just went to an amazing restaurant and I shared it all over Facebook. So we all do that daily anyways. This is the same. You will be recommending your favorite products because you love them and you know that they actually work. It's something you can trust in to share with your friends and family, and even strangers too. Number four, guys, it is important to know who can use your products. Is it just for women? Is it just for men? Can animals use it? Well, we're gonna talk about that right now. Um, so can it be, um, the, well, the great thing about Young Living Products lines are they can and should be used by everyone. They have something for everyone. They have the makeup, they have the household cleaner, they have the skincare products, they have products for animals, they have products for men and women, and they even have recipes for you to use their products in your own do-it-yourself stuff, which is absolutely amazing and saves money and time. Um, five, choosing a company with consumable products means you will not need to find new people all the time. Instead of buying one piece of clothing that could last a year, your customers are ordering products that last a month. They need to replenish their supply every month, which ensures residual or recurring income for you doing this as a business. Recurring income is when you do something once, help someone get a starter kit and join the rewards program, and get paid on time and time again, even while you're sleeping, for goodness sakes. The residual will keep coming in when you invest your time in someone and build that relationship with someone else and show them a product that actually works and that they can believe into. Five, choosing a company, um, or actually, I'm sorry, six, guys, the compensation plan, that one makes a big, big difference, okay? 
is how much money you can make, right? Because we want to have enough to pay our bills. Some companies pers uh, like penalize you when you your team below you hits certain ranks, like they don't give you any more money. Why would I encourage those uh, below me to grow if I stop making commission on them when they do well? Why would you do that? That makes no sense, but some companies are structured that way. And Young Living has an incredible, generous compensation plan for you, ready to go for you. As you sign up new members and your team hits higher ranks, you are compensated with bonuses. The compensation plan can take a while to understand because there are so many ways to get paid by Young Living. I know it's very overwhelming and confusing when it's explained. I will add the compensation link in this video as well. Um, so it can be very confusing. So I've heard from many different network marketing um, marketers, though, that our compensation plan is one of the best. Did you know in our plan, you can actually move above your sponsor? And I know someone um, that is above me that they're one of their downline members moved above them and rank. So Young Living doesn't hold anyone back. It's how much you want to work. If you choose this as a business, you're going to get paid like a business if you work it like that. If you choose this as a hobby, you're going to get paid like a hobby if you work it like that. So keep that in mind when you're choosing this business. This business is a little bit for everyone, whether you're a stay-at-home mom, whether you're just, a, you like to be an office guy, whether you're a lawyer, a doctor, a teacher, whatever, this business can be for anyone. I can't tell you how many teachers have left the teaching job to do Young Living and are high ranked up in the business. There are so many of them. Do your research and you will see too how many teachers have quit their jobs and made this their permanent career with Young Living. There is a video um, that talks about, um, about network marketing. Um, so we're going to have the income disclosure statement to Young Living attached in this uh, video link. We're also going to have this video that makes us laugh every time about things being a pyramid scheme. People think this is a pyramid scheme. Like I said, our members below us are able to pass us and make more money than us because they choose to. And so this video is super cute, kind of explaining the pyramid scheme. So we will attach that link as well. And so why, why build a YL business? You're going to ask yourself, and I'm going to tell you right now, it's the freedom, guys. It's the freedom. You get so much freedom. You get more time with your family. You get um, the time freedom to go on vacations. You're financial. So many of us... Um, you know, we have debts, we have all this stuff that we would like to get ourselves out of this rut. And that's why I suggest being your own boss. Don't work for someone else. Now that you understand a little bit more about network marketing and what to look for, let's dive a little deeper into why you want to build your Young Living business. Like we said, network marketing is not a get rich quick business scheme. People so many times will try to tell you, you can make money just like that. No, you got to work for it. Like anything else in this world, you got to work and earn it. And by being a good person, by, you know, sharing with people and truly caring about other people. So be skeptical of anyone who leads you to believe that this is true, that you can just get rich quick. While it does take work, it's an amazing way to build your very own business with less than $200 to start this business, guys. You can get a premium starter kit for $165 and it gets you started with all the free training that you need. If someone wants something bad enough, they can figure out a way to save $200 to start their own business. A lot of people make excuses. I don't have the money. I can't do that. There are people who put it on their credit cards to invest. There are people, and I don't recommend that, but if you really wanna make this a business and you really wanna grow as a business, you're gonna find a way to do it. Put back you know, $20 a month until you get the money up to order your kit to get started. An MLM, which is a multi-level marketing business, gives you a flexible schedule like we were talking about. Endless income potential. Endless. It's up to you how much you earn. And is a business you can sell or will, uh, that you can sell or will to others, okay? Sharing something that, that it works with others without feeling pushy. I'm going to repeat that one. You can sell it or will it to others. 
That means you can leave it to your family and let's explore these a little more, right? It's an investment in you and your family's future. Think about it. Do you have small kids? Are you having trouble getting a job because you're a mom, a stay-at-home mom? This is an investment to take, especially when you have someone willing to train you for free and be there with all the resources you need. You are provided with absolutely everything you need to get started in this business. Did you know that someone who starts and builds a state farm insurance business has to give their business back to state farm when they retire or pass away? Did you know that? Why spend time and energy building something you really have no ownership over? How many times do we work for our bosses and feel so tired and worn down while they're sitting behind a desk and you're, you're going, gosh, I just need a break. I need a vacation. How many times? If you're going to spend your time here on earth working, I ask you this very strongly. Consider doing two things. Spend it doing something that you enjoy, something that allows you to build relationships and create positive experiences you will never forget along the way. After all, on your last day on earth, you will be thinking about the people you love and the fun times that you had. So make sure you create a lot of those memories along the way. Don't spend your time wasted later on going, where did my life go? I didn't have time for my family. I didn't have time for, you know, my friends. I didn't get to explore the world, right? Because you're working for someone else who works you to the core when you can be your own boss using your own hours. Do something that will allow you, number two, to pass on the benefits of all your hard work to the ones you love, your children, your your husband, whatever, your, your parents, uh, you know, whoever, your grandchildren, whoever. Do something that will benefit them as well. This is not only an investment for you, but it's also for your family. It provides the flexible schedule that you can work from anywhere. That's another thing I love about this Young Living business. I can be on the beach somewhere drinking a Mai Tai and still having my computer up with Wi-Fi and uh, doing a class or you know, doing something YL productive that's earning money. Okay, I can be on vacation doing absolutely nothing with this business and still earning money, residual income. There's so many of us that do it. Do you think that it would be fun to go on a last minute trip with your family and not to have to get permission from anyone? Not to have to say, I need this uh, vacation approved to your boss? Since you are your own boss, guys, like I said, you can head out of town whenever you want. If you need to work for a few hours out of town, go to a coffee shop, you can do it. You have to remember that showing up daily and being consistent is key to success. However, guys, however, connecting with people, even on vacation, is beneficial in our young living business. That is amazing in itself. That should be a selling point to you. An ML business is built through your relationships and through people you and your team know ordering products online. That means you can really do this business from anywhere, guys, as little or as much as you want. You get to choose part-time, full-time, 30 minutes a day, an hour a day. You get to choose that. You can share YL to your with your friends as a, a, at a summer barbecue, at a wedding, at a holiday party, anywhere you choose to. To get started, all they have to do is get on the website from their phone and order the kit. It truly is work that can be done anytime and anywhere, guys. You can enroll a new member at the airport. I know a member who did that. You can talk to someone in a grocery store and say, hey, you're looking for a job? Let me help you be your own boss. Let me help you make the money. This is the best investment that you will ever have. You don't have to worry because you have full support from a team that truly cares about your growth and helping you grow and building other people up. That's one thing I really love about Young Living. They build each other up and, and help each other grow. So true financial freedom. This is another big one, guys. So many of us struggle with our financial, our debt. We have so much debt, this economy. It's just absolutely insane. So do you feel like you're drowning in debt? How many of you can relate to that drowning in debt? 
like you will be paying bills for the rest of your life. Like none of this stuff's ever going to go away. You're going to go to your grave with most of it. Do you want to be, do you want to free yourself from that bondage and live debt free? How would that feel to you to live debt free? This is where we discuss res residual income versus active income. Residual income, guys, is when you continue to get paid after the work is done. Remember I said when you're sleeping? This includes royalties from books, movies, or songs, and also income that comes from real estate. These are just other multi-level marketing. Renting out a home you own or business investments where you don't actually have to present uh, to be present to earn it. For example, we have Bill Gates is still making a residual income from Microsoft, even though he isn't working there anymore. Crazy, right? Crazy. He still has entitlements to that. Active income, the definition of that, is probably what you are used to. It comes as a direct result of your efforts. This is when you work for an one hour and get paid a certain amount for the, that hour's work. This can be seen in wages, your salaries, and even self-employed services providers like lawyers or doctors. In a regular job, you trade time for money, which is active income, guys, active income. When you're at work, you get paid, and when you call in sick, you don't, right? You don't get that money if you call in sick to a regular nine to five job. This means you can never stop working or the money stops for you. Right, you're gonna be working for the rest of your life. What if all the hours you have put in over the last five years could result, guys, continue making you money even if you took a month off residual income? Or better yet, you made money more after your month off than the month before. How would that feel to you? Wouldn't that be awesome? That is the power of network marketing, my friends, and residual or reoccurring income. Doesn't that sound better than going to your job, having to fight and working 40 years? I can say from my personal experience that it takes time, guys, hard work and dedication to build a business that can replace an average income. Not overnight. It takes building those relationships. I have done this part-time, guys, and in just a few years, and I am no one special. I'm just like you. I have kids. I have a life. Part-time, this is able to be done. It is possible. In order to build a business to be a six-figure figure earner, all you truly need is one thing. You know what that is, guys? Keep going, never quit, never quit. We don't promise fancy roses and, and money just falling from trees to you. The one thing to be successful is never quit. Keep going, just do it. There are gonna be bad days. We're not gonna promise you good days all the time. There are gonna be bad days where you're overwhelmed, you had a bad day, you got so many no's in one day. Or, you know, you gotta, you know, somebody was like not working because we're always learning personal development. Maybe you clash with a co-business co partner or whatever. Who knows? You're going to have those bad days. We're going to be completely honest with you about this business, being in network marketing. It's not always going to be roses and cherries. It's, it's not always going to be easy. But you have to want it bad enough and never quit and keep going. If... Let me, let me just say this. If you want the opportunity, guys, after all that you just heard, to get ahead of your bills, to pay off your debts, the ability to pay cash for whatever you want, or to give to your favorite cause, this is a chance for you to work hard and to make it happen. Only you, only you can make it happen. Stop being fearful or saying, I will wait for the right time. It will never be the right time, guys, if you keep making that the excuses that you're making. Right now, it's never been a better time 
to join and to start your own business and do this for yourself. It's never gonna be a better time than now. So if you would like to get started today, you can go to uh, youngliving.com. And if you know a YL member, ask them for their member number to use. When you go to enroll in your kit, if you don't know anyone, you can always use member number 2116190. Any of our Young Living businesses, uh, our members are happy to assist you. Any of our business builders, any of our members are happy to assist you answering any of your questions. So reach out to someone you know who is a, a Young Living business builder. For more great videos like this, go ahead and hit that subscribe video button and feel free to share this video with all your friends and family. Thank you guys so much for listening to this video.